Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to edit your storefront. To start, you're going to open your side menu using the three horizontal lines in the bottom right corner of your home page. In your side menu, select clienteling, and in that drop down, you're going to select the storefront option. Now, this is first going to bring you to a page where you'll be able to see any of the items that are currently active on your storefront. You can also scroll down to see the complete list of items. To view the other to view or edit the other sections of your storefront, you've also got a drop down at the top where you can choose between your topics, new arrivals, or if your retailer has trending recommendations active, you would also see that listed here in the drop down. Beside that drop down, you've also got the My Store option, which you can always select to open your current storefront in the default browser of your device in order to see your page live. To edit any of the items or custom comments on your storefront, you're going to choose the edit option in the top right corner. Here you'll be brought into what we call edit mode, characterized by these red X's, the small pencil icon beside the comments, the blue plus at the bottom, and the vertical lines in the top left corner of each item's card. Now with those vertical lines, you can also hold your finger and drag and drop any item into place should you want to reorder the items that are visible on your page. To remove any items, you might have guessed it, you're going to select the X, at which point the item is going to gray out just like it did here on my screen. Now if you'd like to add any items to your storefront, you're going to be choosing the blue plus symbol in the bottom left hand corner, which will bring you to the sales floor product library. Here you'll be able to search by key terms, by brands, by style codes, you name it, or sift through any of the L1 categories that are visible on this page, which should match your retailer's website. For today's example, I'm going to select Find Jewelry, and we'll go for All just for simplicity. Now I'll be presented with all items that match those search or filter criteria from my retailer, and I can select any item that I would like to add by simply tapping on its product card. Here you'll see the item highlighted when selected, and you'll also see it added to the bottom drawer which now indicates all items that I've selected within this session. If I'm happy with the items that I've chosen, I can use Attach in the top right corner to return right back to that Edit Mode page. Now all that's left to do is add my personalized comment. And to do that, I'm going to be selecting the small pencil icon that displays just above the item's price. That's going to bring me here to this screen where I can see a preview of the item that I'm commenting on, and I've also got my comment box to enter my personalized comment. Once entered, I'm going to use save to confirm my comment. Now this is going to bring me to the edit mode page one last time where I can review whether my items are in the correct order, I have the items that I want to display visible on this page, and I've customized the comment underneath each item to convey to my customer why I've selected the item or perhaps provide any additional contextual information about the items themselves. To save any of the changes that I've made, I'm going to use the publish option in the top right corner. Here with a quick confirmation, any changes that I've made during that session are immediately going to be live on my storefront should any of my clients visit it or refresh the page as they're browsing. Once again, we can use that My Store option on this page to view our storefront in a browser. And just like that, you can see that my first item is now the custom item that we've just added along with my comment underneath. And there you have it. That's all it takes to edit the items that are on your storefront. Thank you.